In this video, we're going to take a look at the Replace Unwanted Characters transform that's part of Task Factory from Pragmatic Works. Now, the Replace Unwanted Characters transform does exactly what it's named to, to do, which is replace unwanted characters from your source. And that could mean anything from just replacing numbers, replacing letters, replacing words, and truly replacing um, unprintable characters. Whatever you need to do, this is able to handle that and replace those characters with some sort of user-defined value, whether that's um, another dash or an empty string, whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we use it. Uh, first thing we need to look at uh, is we have an OLDB source here uh, that's pulling data from our person.contact table. But I also have a couple of columns here that are just kind of test data. And we're, I did that on purpose so we can show you how it replaces certain uh, or how the, the settings in here affect the, the way that this data is replaced. Okay. And so we're going to open up the UI, and on the left you have all the source columns, and on the right you have whether you have an action selected, you can see here none of these have an, uh, an action selected, or when it does have an action selected, you have your, it, it tells you what you've selected here. Uh, you have two options. You have the option of replace alpha slash numeric slash alpha numeric characters, and what that basically does is if you come in here and you make that option, or just select that action, you have a, a further action that you have to select here, which is what type of replacement do you want to occur? And so in this case, we have six different options. You have replace alpha, replace non-alpha, replace numeric, replace non-numeric, replace alphanumeric, and replace non-alphanumeric. And if you don't really know what those mean, you can come in here and you can click on this ellipsis button here, and it gives you a better understanding of a kind of what each one does and now most of them are pretty self-explanatory replace alpha means replace any alphabetical letters replace not alpha replace anything that's not a letter replace numeric replace anything that's a number and you know on and on and on uh, in this case what I want to do because I'm looking for a phone number and let's say that in my system I can only have numbers as part of my phone number so I'm going to replace that anything that coming in from that that phone there that test phone uh, with uh, replace non-numeric. So it's going to replace anything that it sees as, as not a numeric value. So let's go ahead and run this real quick and take a look at uh, what happens. Now again, the data coming in is this, and we should see it replace all of those, those values uh, that are non-numeric. So we're going to go ahead and execute. And we should get our data viewer to come up. And let's find test phone. And there it is right there. So we see that the parentheses and the dash have been removed from that. Now that's a lot easier than say opening up a script test, writing some regex code to do the same thing. This is very easy to set up. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another option there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and change up the other uh, replace specified characters to replace an alphanumeric. And let's go ahead and replace um, non-alphanumeric. So what we should see is remember again we have um, test one two three four dash and it's wrapped in parentheses all right so let's go ahead and execute that and take a look at what oh let me check this real quick uh, test okay cool just wanted to make sure that we're replacing the the data in the column so let's go ahead and execute and we should see that anything that is non-alphanumeric has been removed. So we've re removed the parentheses and we've removed the, the dash out of that, that test column. All right. So that's how you use the first option, which is to replace alpha slash numeric slash alphanumeric. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the one that's a little more powerful in that it allows you to specify specific characters that you need to be be replaced. So for instance, in your system, if you wanted to keep the parentheses but not the dashes, well, you really couldn't use that with the uh, replace alphanumeric uh, op option there. So this one here is it gives us the ability to do two searches. And that first search is it looks for characters. So we want to say, OK, what characters do we want to be searched? And it also gives you words to be searched as well. Now, the words is, is you can define uh, stuff like the, 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 the tab, the return, the new line, all those special characters in there as well. But this gives you the opportunity to say, let's look for test and replace it with nothing. So again, you can replace it with anything that you want. 
whether it's dashes or whatever you want to put in here. Uh, it can ignore the case, meaning that what we're using behind the scenes is a regular expression, and you can tell it to ignore the case or you want it to be case sensitive. And the maximum replacements, oops, close it there. Uh, the maximum replacement tells you how many times you want that to occur, meaning that whenever you find this this occurrence of this character or this word how many times do you want that to be replaced now if you set it to negative one meaning I want all of my characters replaced now this is only good for instance if you want to find the first instance of, of a character to be replaced so for instance if you have one character something like uh, you know dollar sign uh, oops that's an ampersand dollar sign and I only want that first replacement to be found um, you could come in here and do something like that now, of course, I don't want to do that. I'm going to cancel that, and I'm going to come back in here and put in. Uh, I'm just going to cancel, actually, uh, so I don't have to type those characters again. Uh, let's look for test. Okay. And again, as you click through these, this clicking this ellipsis will, if it, if it's not enough room to read whatever's in this label down here, you can click the ellipsis, and it will give you more information. Oh, I canceled it again. All right. Let's try this one more time. Test, okay, replace with nothing, all right, there we go. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so what we should see is that because we're looking for the word test and we're looking for the, the dashes and the parentheses that we've actually gotten rid of everything except the numbers in this, so it's one, two, three, four. All right, so that's how you can you can define whatever characters you want to search for as well. Now this does support being able to look for Unicode characters uh, and all that kind of stuff too as well. As long as you come down here and you kind of you look at this characters to be researched, uh, it gives you a little better understanding here. It says the U03B2. That's a Unicode character. Um, again, you can you can do the same with that. Um, if you need a little help trying to figure out, like you know that the character is ASCII value 1 and you need to replace that, you can come into something like uh, Expresso, which is a free uh, tool from UltraPico, right? Yep, UltraPico.com. And take a look at how you can do some of these things here. So if you wanted to replace the ASCII hex value 41, it gives you whatever type of um, character so this is actually the character code that you want to replace if you come in here to ASCII you can go I want to replace uh, null or, or whatever these actually I don't know exactly what these mean uh, they are a bunch of old school characters that you can uh, you can have so the bell backspace all that some of those characters are invalid in something like XML uh, but you can come in here and you can grab that X08 and then you can put that into the unread characters right here and it should replace that as well all right and so the last thing that I want to show you is that if you're replacing data let's go ahead and take a look especially in this specified characters uh, with other data that is longer than the character that so if you have if you're replacing a character with two characters you need to be aware of a situation that that will occur with that and that is that if you're the length of your column coming in um, from your source is smaller than what the output is going to be, then that's going to cause an issue. And I'm going to give you an example of that. That test column that I created, or that, that's coming from the OLODB source, is only 11 characters long. So when I put in double dashes to replace a single character, what's going to happen is I'm going to get an error. And I'll give you an example of that error right now. Alright, so we see the red, and let's take a look at the progress. Let's close this down. And we can see right here, the value is too large to fit in the column area, uh, column data area of the buffer. Alright, so that causes an issue. So what we need to do in this case is we can come in here, and we can tell the replacement, um, here it is right here, this the output action to be output the fixed data to a new output column. Now again, you're still going to have the same problem because what happens behind the scenes is that the, the column is basically copied from the source column, again being 11 characters, and created a new output column which, which is named test uh, or whatever the name of the column is underscore output. So if we take a look again, 
at the metadata, we see here we have a new column, test underscore output, but again, the length is only 11 characters. However, you can come in here into the show advanced editor and open that up and go into your input output properties. Click on your uh, the, the, the tree here, uh, find your test output column, and you can change the data length to 50. Click OK. And now when we run this or replace, create the length whatever you want it to be. So if we run this again, we should see that it works and that there is a new column with the fixed data. So there we go.